Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of TappingWithMusic.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know, I've always loved these nesting dolls. Most of us have seen them, my guess. And uh, I keep one here in my classroom, and my, my second graders love this thing too. And uh, at some point during the day, someone's always looking at this thing, taking it apart, fascinated by... by it. And of course, you know, we know that there are, you know, uh, what do you call, them? metaphorical implications of these little nesting dolls. How they represent the parts of us inside that just go deeper and deeper. And one of the things I think is very fascinating about these nesting dolls is how the truth of who we are actually gets smaller and smaller the deeper we go. One would think it would get larger, more complicated. But interestingly enough, it actually does the opposite. It gets smaller. Why is that? I think because the, the truth of who we are, what we are, is actually rather simple. Simple in the most beautiful sense of the word. Within us, we carry love. Not only the seeds of love, but a whole garden of love. The seeds of love. Whoops! Come back! And a tree of love. Excuse me. And some say, oops, some say it's in the form of an inner child. Some say it's in the form of the divine. Oh, oh. Whatever name you want to give it, it's pure and it's simple and it's true. You are love. You shine a light that no one else does. And so, I'd like us to tap a little bit on acknowledging the truth about who we are, the light of who we are. And if you care to join me, you're accepting full responsibility for doing so. Let's get started. Even though, even though perhaps sometimes I complicate things in myself and in my relationships with others, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though sometimes I only look at the surface, the surface of myself or other people, judging books by their covers. I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. Even though sometimes I'm afraid to reveal the most delicate parts of my heart, I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. I choose to know in this moment that sometimes it is perfectly right and healthy to keep those most delicate parts of myself 
safe and hidden, secure, sheltered and nurtured, nested, safely. I also choose to know that the simple truth of who I am is love. I was made to love, to both give and receive love. I was made to shine, to help others shine. And I choose to honor the light within me, the love within me, the love that I am. I want to call it an inner child, a wonder child, the divine, or or just love. I'll call it whatever I want. But whatever I call it, I choose to love it and honor it. To honor that love within me. By living outwardly, in the most outward sense, in healthy ways. To live outwardly here, to honor the deepest part of me there. To choose healthy foods and healthy patterns of living. And then to go a little deeper, to choose healthy thoughts, to say kind things to and about myself, to be grateful for the most outward part and the most inward part. And if I want to, I'll go even deeper, find out more and more why I tick, why I do what I do. But with a gesture and a, and a mood of fun, an investigative reporting without condemning judgment. And I don't need to go alone to these places. I can choose to take safe people with me. I can choose to know that the most tender part is in many ways the strongest. Love. The kernel of love, the seed of love. I choose to spread those seeds with all I say, with the way I look with my eyes and the tone of my voice. I choose to move with love, to have my actions shine, to radiate love, love for myself and love for others. I choose to celebrate this journey and to know that the littlest part isn't necessarily the finish line. Oops, it's just part of the journey. And it doesn't mean once I get there that I can't go back. I choose to love the journey of getting to know myself, of honoring and cherishing my inner child, the love. And I can go to, to, and stop at any place along the journey and work, and celebrate, and play. I have within me the infinite good, the infinite love, and, and unlike this nesting doll that stops, the love within me goes on forever. Forever unto eternity, that love grows 
and spreads. And I choose to take loving actions towards myself and others that I know will spread throughout all eternity and echo and ripple into the world with joy and gratitude. So I accept love, self-love and love from others. And I honor those tender, vulnerable places and all the journey to them. They're all good. They're all beautiful and necessary. And I choose to love and accept myself. From my body, all the way inside, to my deepest places, to the dark places, where the shadows live. For those shadows are cooling and comforting, and provide a nesting place for the stars and the light. So I choose to love and accept myself right here and right now. All of me. Right here. And right now. Well, I hope you found that helpful and encouraging. And uh, if you need any other support for getting to know yourself and loving yourself, I'd be happy to help. You can go to my website tappingwithmusic.com, drop me a line, and I'll do what I can to help. This is Joseph Anthony of tappingwithmusic.com saying thank you so much for watching. Take care.